Hi hey everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Gundam games for the Nintendo Wii. As the Gundam Scat Hammer has a neat concept, it's a beat em up, but one in which you have a giant wrecking ball as a weapon. And the mechanics for the ball are addictive, you have to move around to build momentum so that your hits make more damage. The gameplay formula is fun, but the game gets repetitive, at least on paper, as this is all you do. You get boss battles too, that you defeat with the same mechanic. If the game would have had more variation in gameplay, it would have been a tremendous game. But on the plus side, the game has multiple suits, and the visuals of the game are cute. It's a decent game to play. Mobile Suit Gundam MS Sensen 0079 is an amazing game for Gundam fans. It has its specific fast-paced action, and on the Wii, the controls don't feel weird. The AI is great in the game, if opponents notice that you found their weak spot, they will adapt and protect, or push you back so that you can't attack their weak spot that easily. But aside of the great battles, you also have some long missions where you beat up small fry, like tanks. But aside of these sometimes boring mission objectives, the game is fantastic. And you should definitely check out the game if you're a Gundam fan. The battles are epic and the environments too, the controls are good, summing up a great Gundam experience. Also the game has all the Gundam elements, like what seems to be a good story. I say what seems to be because the game is in Japanese and I don't know Japanese, but it seems to be a good story. It also has a versus mode, it has Zeon and Federation suits, it's a great game. J just try it if you're a Gundam fan. Anime Slot Revolution, Paki Slot Kido Senshi Gundam Ni Ai Senshi Hen is a simple game. I don't recommend you play it, but what I've played it's a very basic slot machine game. Occasionally you unlock some frames from the anime that have poor audio and poor video quality. If you're into slot machines, you can give it a try. But if you're someone searching for a game with story or with more gameplay than what you see in the video, you shouldn't play this game. As the Gundam G Generation Wars has the scenario mode split into three eras. Origin Generation, Universal Century, Another Generation, 19th Alternate Universe, namely G, Wing X and Turn A and new generation, shows from the last decade, in, order, in other words, old Seed series and Zero Zero. As for the gameplay, it's turn-based. Each mobile suit can now use three OP parts instead of just one, and overall, it's a nice turn-based game. As the Gundam Gashapon Wars is a strategy and brawl game, the two gameplay elements fit perfectly together. First you need to plan your strategy on the board, and when your characters meet, they fight. But it's not just some attack animation and some values, no, you get to control the fight. The gameplay is solid, the game gets repetitive, it's true, since all you do is what you see in the video, but it doesn't hinder the game from being solid. If you're a Gundam fan, just know that the community is mixed about the game. Some say it's a love letter for all Gundam fans, and others say that it's a failure since the controls are hard to pick up. But in, but in my opinion, it's a solid game, and it sure can provide hours of fun. As the Gundam G Generation World is the follow up of G Generation Wars. There are some differences that are subtle, so I'm going to read you the differences from the wiki article. Returning from wars are several elements, such as wars break, now generation breaks, character abilities, and EX stages. The game also makes several changes, however, unit stats inheritance is gone completely, profile completion bonus characters make a return, and perhaps most importantly, characters are no longer ranked in their roles and therefore can once again be assigned to any task. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. 
If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.